All right, so what's up everyone? Doing another uh, trailer gig vlog. Um, we're replacing the vent. Um, I did use the trailer this weekend. Um, it did save me a lot of money because I didn't have to uh, bother with a U-Haul. I could have got a U-Haul trailer or something, but the amount of stuff that we were doing uh, with one particular event, it was, um, it was a lot. Hang on, let me clean this lens here. All right, that's a little bit better. Um, so I, I did use it this weekend. I did uh, put another piece of wood up there just to cover it up just for this weekend. Um, and now I'm getting ready to replace the vent, which I did order from Amazon. Um, Big Shiny told me it was gonna be about 30 bucks. I did see some of them for 30. I found uh, one that was, I think I paid like 20, 17 dollars, 17, somewhere between 17 and 20 dollars, I believe it was. Um, I already took most of it down as far as the screen, the frame. And now uh, just gotta take off the plastic vent. Um, you see that up there? The plastic cover on the outside, I gotta get that off. And then, ghost. Then uh, once I get that off, then I can put the other one back on. So this will be really quick. I'm not even doing a full video for this because it only takes a couple of minutes. All right, so I'm gonna run through this real quick. Let me move this out the way. First thing that you would take off from up here at the top is this frame here. There's uh, four small screws that's holding it in. It goes up just like that. Um, you see the holes there? That's two, three, four. Once you take that down, then you have the screen to take down. There's two screws that's holding that in. So you're gonna be looking at it from, let's see, from this side. Now, not this hole here, but this one that's going all the way up in the top. You got one there, and you got one right there. So that's six screws total. Um, and before the screen can come down, you have to remove the handle to the, um, to the crank here and that has a screw going right up in the middle so once you take that screw out then you can remove the handle and then you can uh, remove the screen and once again once you remove the screen um, you would basically have this wheel here which I'm kind of backwards right now because um, I already got mine out you would have this wheel here that you would pop out of here once you push it all the way up. Now I already got a new one back in place and um, I've seen a video where the guy climbed up on top of the trailer. Uh, my trailer vent is close to my back door. All I did was just uh, reached around the outside of the trailer, slid it up, grabbed it, put it in place. Right now it is hooked in on the hinge and um, I'm gonna put everything back together real quick and then go from there all right so I got the wheel in and in order to get that in you have to lift the vent up slide it over a little bit so I can get the wheel through this hole here and um, that's that now we're gonna put the crank for the vent Put that back in place and again it's two screws Oop, there we go two screws that's holding that one in as well all right so now i got the two screws back in place and that's in there tight got the vent open and um now we start to put everything back together uh first uh we'll put back up the screen which i'm gonna clean the screen off first and then put it back up all right so as you can see i got the screen back in uh, still a little bit wet I'm just gonna let it air dry and now I'm going to put the handle back in all right so the handle is back on as you can see and I'm going to uh, spray a little WD-40 on there so I can uh, open and 
close smoothly, which I probably won't be opening it that much. Um, and then we're gonna go on top and I gotta show you one important part on the top part. All right, so we're on the top here and this will be the last part. Um, probably can't see it, but there's a, a piece that's hanging a little bit off on one side, actually on both sides. You're gonna bend those in. Uh, some of them bend up, some of them bend down, um, depending on what kind of uh, trill or vent opening you have on there. Um, and that's to keep it from sliding from left to right. And that's the last part to be done. And then that's it. All right, so we're on the other side now and you gotta be careful up here, especially, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. But I just bent that one in. And that way it's not gonna be moving left to right too much. Um, but like I was saying, you gotta be careful up here because um, it is aluminum. And this thing gets hot, extremely hot. So there you go, I'm done with the vent. All right, so that's it for the trail event right now. Um, all together, I say it shouldn't take no more than five minutes or so uh, to do this. It's very easy. Uh, you do need a ladder to get up on top. Um, to bend the two little tabs, one on each side of the hinge for the vent. Um, overall, like I said, it takes maybe about five minutes or so to do it. Um, the only thing you need is, uh, for most trailers, a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and maybe a flat head to bend the tab on there, and that's it. It's very, very easy to do. Other than that, that's it. All right, so I'm still out here in the trailer, still doing some work. Uh, as you can see earlier, I um, did the, um, the vent. The vent is all done. That's complete. And oh, going back on the vent, um, I could have got the white one. But I went with one that was a little bit smoke. And after checking some other stuff out, I could have got the metal one, which would have allowed uh, no light in and it probably would have last longer. These plastic ones, um, they last maybe a year or so, and especially being down here in South Florida with the heat and the sun and stuff like that, it's, it's I'll see how long it lasts. Um, um, but yeah, I'll see how long it lasts. If, uh, doesn't, if that doesn't outlast the trailer or last as long as I have this trailer, um, I'll definitely switch to metal one um, but let's look at some other stuff that I'm doing right now yep I got the D rings going in that's one two three and the fourth one is not tightened up yet um, I did run into some issues let me show you guys you see those holes right there drilled some pilot holes in and one of them went right through reason why I was drilling there is because if you look up the top to the beam on the roof um, I thought the beams were going down the line with the ones in the roof and was I wrong so when I realized when I drilled you know a couple holes in there and it didn't um, I was looking at outside then through the hole um, so, okay, fine, let me take the wood off and see where is it going. So that's why that top portion is off, which is down on the floor right now. And um, I got it in there and um, went ahead and got everything lined up and did all of them. I'm just waiting on the drill to finish charging. My battery did go dead and um, start working on the rest of it. While, I'm, while I was waiting on the drill, I figure I'll redo my uh, L14 to 215 amp plugs. Um, I had a, well, the problem was the one that I made before, 
was not long enough. And maybe two feet, I did three feet on this one, which is uh, enough now. The other one, um, I just felt like it wasn't long enough, so I went ahead and redid it. I just went ahead and put all the uh, parts uh, from the old one in the trailer here. And since I'm waiting on the drill to charge up, I went ahead and put this back together. I'm going to use this this weekend. I'm going to play the big system, um, which is going to be easier to move around now. Um, I got one more thing to do with the big system to make it a lot easier to move. Uh, right now, I want to put um, some flat dollies from Harbor Freight to put the subs on. The subs are already on there, so I'll be moving two subs at a time. They're strapped together on the uh, dolly and it'll be easy to roll in and out of um, in and out of the trailer here. Um, I'm going to build some dollies. I'm hoping that I have enough time to do it this week for my dual 15 inch top so I'll be strapping two of those to one dolly and that way I can roll those in instead of me doing what uh, six trips or even uh, I want to cut it down to four trips. Uh, two trips for the subs, two trips for the tops, and everything else will be on another trip by itself or whatever. <coughs> but I want to cut <coughs> cut my setup and break down time <coughs> when it comes to doing that. So I'll show you the trailer, um, the rest of it once I'm done. Uh, hopefully this battery should be done in another couple of minutes. And um, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put, I believe, one more, one, two, three on this side, and then um, that should be it for now. I'm not gonna do any at the back. I want the back to stay clear for other stuff, and um, go from there. I'll let y'all know. Peace.